Hi, this is Alicia from Cubicles and Curls, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Form Beauty line. So Form Beauty is a natural hair brand bought to you by Walker & Company, and Walker & Company is the same company that produces Bevel, which is the shaver and trim system, uh, trimmers. And so the Walker & Company is dedicated to providing luxury beauty brands for people of color, particularly black people, if I want to say so myself, but mostly people of color. Um, and so they've come out with this line for people with textured hair, natural hair, curly hair, coily, even relaxed hair, some straight hair. Um, and it's a line of 10 products, uh, two shampoos, um, two types of conditioners, a leave-in, four different types of stylers, and then a finisher pomade. Um, and then I got the chance to try them all. I went to a their launch party maybe last month, a friend invited me and they gave us all the products to try. Um, and more recently, I became a Form Beauty ambassador because I loved the product so much and I got even more products to try. So I'm going to get started soon. But before I get started, I just want to show you this is my wash and go using their products. I think I use I use the Sculpt Gel and I'll get more into that. But this is it and I think it's really good. Granted, there's a lot of user error because I've been having no time to do my hair in the morning, so I've been doing my hair at night. And if you've ever done a wash and go at night, you know that your hair has to be 100% dry for success. And I've been more than impatient. So I think given even the fact that I haven't been able to do them perfectly like I normally do, I think this came out really good. You could just look at the texture. It looks a little dry on camera, but my hair is not dry, I promise. I think it just doesn't photograph well, but it's fine. Anyway, let me get into the products. So like I said, there are 10 different products. Um, so I'm going to start by talking about the shampoos. So we have these two shampoos. This one's called Clarify. And this one's called Cleanse. I don't know if you can see it. So why do they have two shampoos? So when you do your, oh, so let me go back. So when you log on to Form Beauty, you do a consultation and the consultation will, is a form. It asks you things about how you normally wear your hair. What's the weather like where you are? What challenges are you facing? Um, do you have fine or coarse hair? They don't ask you about your hair type. They don't really ask you, I'm not sure if they ask you how, the texture is but it's really a lot of environmental things and how you do your hair and that's how they prescribe to you which um which products that they recommend you use i think everyone gets recommended the cleanse and clarify um so let's go into it the clarify shampoo is as it says it's clarifying it's for if you want to remove everything from your hair all product buildup everything if you want to just return your hair back to zero base neutral this is what you use they recommend that you don't use it too often depending on how much product you're using in your hair normally i've only used it once since i got it and that was because i think i went two weeks with just kind of putting stuff in my hair putting stuff in my hair like um like edge control i'm putting lots of leave-in on every day i felt like i needed to neutralize um i would recommend personally you might notice that you'll need to clarify your hair if you feel that your hair feels kind of heavy or greasy even after you've washed it if your hair is not really responding to your um, products uh, your stylers very well you might need to clarify your hair just to get everything off of the strand because you don't realize even though you shampoo sometimes your shampoo might not be strong enough to remove every single thing so they recommend using it every two weeks to a month I probably will use it every two months because I wash my hair pretty regularly and I'm not putting a lot of stuff on my hair during the week um, once I wash my hair and I style this usually all I put in for the rest of the week but if you're doing more than that you might want to clarify more often but not too much when I use this product well notice that it has like this little nozzle so you want to apply it directly to the scalp so you'll clarify your scalp and then the product will work its way down into your hair. So like focus on massaging the scalp, getting the scalp clean. That's very important. And to be honest, that's the technique you should be using with all your shampoos. 
Um, the ingredients of all the form beauty products are pretty natural. They're pretty good. You can, I will link below, um, a link to their ingredient list of what they do not use in their products. So usually they, they've covered all the problematic, um, ingredients that the naturals, the natural community has a problem with. So I think you guys would be pretty happy with this. So again, clarify is for when you want a fresh start and you want nothing on your hair. Going into the cleanse palette, the cleanse shampoo. I really like this shampoo. It's not a moisturizing shampoo, so you're not gonna, your hair is not gonna feel super soft while you're using it. And to be honest, if you're not doing a co-wash, then it shouldn't feel that way. Um, you should be feeling like your hair is kind of drying up a little, but not too much. But I really enjoy it because I feel like my hair is getting clean every time I use it. Um, not even, maybe a little kind of squeaky clean, but not too squeaky. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I don't feel like, so one thing I've noticed with some shampoos is when I use it, I then can't comb out my hair. I wouldn't say that this has a lot of slip, but it's not like completely anti-slip. So I'm able to still, you know, get my fingers through pretty easily. I don't feel like, oh my God, my hair just turned into a matted web. So I really like the Clen shampoo. I've been using it once a week um, since I've got it. I which is amazing to me because, you know, I am not loyal to any product, but I've really been enjoying the things of this brand. So again, this is the Cleanse Shampoo and everyone, I think everyone's recommended it when they do their form consultation and I think it's really great. Um, again, my hair isn't heavy with product buildup, so depending on how you're using products during the week, how much you're layering on, how your hair's feeling, that's gonna decide what you need to be using. The next, thing in their collection is the hydrate conditioner. Also, I wanted to really say that I love the packaging. All these packagings look like the things that you get in salon. The only thing I have an issue with is that sometimes it's hard to like squeeze these out in these bottles. They're not meant for that. I mean, they don't really, it's hard to just get the product out is what I'm trying to say. But in terms of like look, I really enjoy how they look. They're so sleek and beautiful and they just feel very classy. Um, I feel like a lot of my products don't look as classy and I like that. So anyway, this is the Form Hydrate Conditioner. It says for unprocessed hair, encourages slip, detangles and smooth. And oh my God, out of all the things in this line, this is my favorite thing. This is a thing that I will be buying over and over and over again because this conditioner, this conditioner so whenever I'm using conditioner I've always noticed that when I wash it out it's like it goes away and I hate that um, if I'm using my conditioner and you can use this as both a regular conditioner so you can use it for like two to three three to five minutes or you can use it as deep conditioner um, and wear it for 10 to 15 minutes while you're showering up or under a dryer and it works both ways which I love and when I wash it out my hair still feels so soft and hydrated which is something that I don't get with a lot of conditioners usually when I wash it out again it gets hard again and I get really annoyed by that because I, I don't think that's what a conditioner should do I shouldn't just be soft while it's on your hair it's great slip I'm able to detangle super easily um and so yeah this is my favorite product the hydrate another product in the collection is the revive conditioner why do they have two conditioners well this one is for processed hair so if you have relaxed hair and you need some extra fortification um or maybe you don't have relaxed hair maybe you have natural hair but you have a lot of damage so this is going to really bring back the structure to your hair really strengthen it um, it also softens and detangles, but I think you're either recommended the Hydrate or the Revive. I don't think you're recommended both, but that's based on the hair struggles that you mentioned. It has amino acids, it's pH adjusted, it's for color treated and heat styled hair. So if you have heat damage or color damage, it helps. Um, I haven't tried this yet, it wasn't recommended to me. I might actually give it away, um, but just know that it's there. All right, so after you've cleansed and you've hydrated, the next step, which everyone is loving, all the girls have been talking about it, is the multitask leave-in. All right, so this is described as a three-in-one moisturizer. It's lightweight, it primes and revitalizes. I'm not sure why it's three-in-one. Okay, this versatile formula multitask as a leave-in conditioner 
a daily moisturizer, and a style refresher. I've been using it as a leave-in conditioner mostly, um, just because I don't really believe in daily moisturizers. I don't believe in putting leave-in on dry hair. I haven't had the experience where that's been super effective for me. Um, even with this leave-in conditioner, it definitely softens my hair when it's dry, but I feel like all leave-in conditioners evaporate out of my hair, and I think that just has to do with my porosity or whatever, but leave-ins work best for me when my hair is wet already. Um, I guess you can use it as a style refresher. I still prefer to do my steam treatments to refresh my style, um, which I'll talk about in another video, but um, yeah. So I like this leave-in conditioner because like I mentioned, um, the conditioner, the hydrate conditioner has been really great. And then when I put this on, my hair is like butter in the shower and I'm just like, I literally just sometimes, using this product, I haven't felt this way in a while, but I just really feel like one of those girls in the commercials who are just so happy to be washing their hair. I just love the way my roots feel and my strands feel when I put this on. It just really is so slick. It's been so nice. I feel like I don't even deserve this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so after you do the hydrate, you rinse it out and then you add this on top. So this is supposed to be used as a primer. It, I think if you buy anything from this pro, uh, this line, um, the stylers, you should definitely buy the multitask. Um, when Form Beauty gave me the product that they gave me to try as an ambassador, they also gave me the multitask in this little small bottle. I'm not sure if it's for sale, but I mean... It really, that just shows how necessary it is. Think of it as their primer for your foundation. It really just complements all the styles very well. Um, also, I should notice that this is a huge bottle. Look at it, it's like the side of my face. It's 12 ounces and I've had it, I've been using it once a week for maybe like the past eight weeks or so. And I don't even think it's halfway finished. The bottle still feels pretty he heavy. So a little bit goes a long way. Um, and let me just show you what it looks like. So when you spray it in your hand, which is what I like to do, it looks like this. And then you kind of can rub it in. So you see it disappears pretty quickly. It rubs in really well. It's a good consistency and it smells lovely. It kind of smells like, it has like a floral smell. So it's, this collection definitely not the fruits and berries that you're used to. Oh, I love this. It's almost like lotion. It's not the fruits and berries you're used to. This is more like a floral smell, kind of like what you'll, essential oils, kind of like what you'll like smell when you go into a uh, spa. Um, so I like smelling like fruits and berries and like a bakery but this has been really nice it's been a lot more discreet which i appreciate um everything just smells very light um so yes you use this and you're good to go to start with your stylers